What's it gonna be today? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're doing really well. Thursday morning trip to the thrift. We are back for yet another episode. Hey, look, I know a lot of you guys are stuck in lockdown at the moment. The country is mad with the coronavirus still charging on. So look, guys, I am definitely thinking about you and uh, hopefully it doesn't go on for too much longer. Consider this video a bit of entertainment, a bit of motivation for when you can get back out into the thrift next. Hopefully, I can do it justice by bringing you some great items today. I generally find that I source really great items when you guys hit the like button on my videos. So maybe go ahead and do that. Wish me some luck and uh, let's dive into the first thrift. We're going to kick things off with this really cool Formula One Australia crew jacket, Aussie colours, fully embroidered. Everything was talking to me except for the comps on eBay. Couldn't really find too much, so I'm going to be going for about 60 bucks. I'll just see how we go with this one. I've paid $15. It is a 2XL in great condition, so we'll see how we go with that. I've also found the Oak Hill Camelo Anthony High School jersey. Really good NBA player for those of you who don't know him. Uh, a $20 price tag on this one. Unfortunately, it isn't genuine. And at that $20 price point, I did actually reluctantly put this one back on the shelf. A really, really tough no. Uh, I did like this one a lot. Um, I also found a couple of essentials as well. This was the Socceroos uh, jersey. This was a size large. $5, fully embroidered, Nike. You can't really pass these up. They generally sell for about $25 bucks on Marketplace. And then I've also found the brand new with tags, Brisbane Lions Polo shirt. This one was a size 12 women's. Um, obviously, brand new condition there. Excellent condition. I'm going to go ahead and grab this and turn it into about 30 bucks on eBay. So that was a good little grab. And then the next one that I found I thought was really cool as well. This was an Adidas t-shirt. Crazy little pattern on this one. It was a men's size small. I generally like to grab the larger sizes, but I just like the print on this one, something I hadn't seen before. So I did pick that one up as well. Overall, just a couple of items in this run. So definitely a slow start to the day, guys. That Formula One uh, jacket, Grand Prix jacket, we'll see how we go with that one. I don't know if it'll be a huge profit, but had the crew embroidery on the back, so you never know. I might do some research and it could be worth a few. Um, and then some sporting gear, as you would have seen in that little edit. So a bit of a slow start, but we can always pick things up in two, three, and four. That's the beauty of this game and this day that we have ahead of us. So let's get into it. We'll see what we can get in a second. Let's kick things off in the VHS section, guys. I've been able to find these two Dragon Ball Z VHS tapes. Now, they'll go for about 30 bucks in a bundle. I've only paid $2 for them. This will be a nice little turnaround, maybe about a $15 profit. You can always rely on Dragon Ball Z. I've always found uh, the Super Dry. Love finding Super Dry on the thrift. Uh, this is another one you can rely on. I've just paid the $5. Should turn into about 30 bucks for me. Um, can always pick this one up. Whenever I see it, I'm always grabbing it, and it generally goes on to do well. So, happy to find that one. Found the Tommy Hill figure as well. Now, this one's not going to net me too much of a profit, but it was in excellent condition, and it was a size large. So, for those two reasons, that should be a pretty quick $10 profit for me once I flip it on eBay. And then I dove into the hat section as well, where I do like to spend quite a bit of time, and I've been able to find this Melbourne 2006 Commonwealth Games hat that should go on to sell for about $30. It was genuine merchandise and there are collectors out there. I've also found this Adidas uh, Adidas Zero Boston men's running shoes. These are a really nice pair of shoes and, and, and still in great condition. Uh, the soles were excellent, as you can see there, and uh, I'm, I'm buying this one for $10, guys. So I'm generally going to push this for about $50 on eBay. That's generally the way I operate when it comes to shoes, and that nets me about a $30 profit. So really cool pair. Very, very fortunate to have found those today. And uh, I've also found these as well, which I thought were a good pair until I peeled away the sole and you've really got to be checking for your uh, wear and tear when it comes to shoes guys because they can be deceiving these did look like a great pair but I did for that reason have to leave them on the table these ones here they had a $16 price point which wasn't putting me off because it is the Nike brand but as you'll see here it was the soles of the shoe guys there was quite a bit of wear and for that reason I did have to say no but not too bad of a run all up there guys I paid uh, $31 for seven items Whoa. All right, so I managed to spend 
And one item that I didn't show you guys was these Puma women's running shoes, US size nine and a half. I've paid just five dollars for these, and they are in brilliant condition because they aren't an, an expensive shoe or a top end shoe. I can tell that based on the sole. There's no sort of gel in the sole, and that's when you know that it's going to be worth a little more. Um, so these ones here are more of an entry level, thirty five bucks probably on eBay. Guys, I've only bought eleven items, and uh, I don't think any of them are going to go really too high end. So we need to get cracking on some really big ticket items here. We've got op shops number three and four coming up. Up. Fingers crossed we can find some $100 plus items because so far it's just been the bread and butters and I don't really necessarily want to be out there finding bread and butters all day. So let's get into the third one guys. Just stick around with me. We've got plenty more to come. Right, guys, I've jumped into the clothing section yet again, and I've been able to find this Columbia long sleeve uh, button up shirt. Now, this had a bit of rayon in it at about 5%, so it actually made this a really nice material along with the cotton. Just paid the four bucks. Jimmy Barnes Soul Deeper. Have a look at this. I used to love Jimmy Barnes as a kid, so I was very happy to find this one for $4. Look forward to getting it on eBay. Didn't even bother doing the comp searches with that one. When you find Jimmy in the thrift, you just have to pick him up. So I'm very happy to find him there, and uh, that will go on to sell pretty well. Another great man, uh, Elton John. I found the Rocket Man tee. This was a really cool piece as well. Just the $4 on this one. I don't typically like buying white t-shirts for uh, stains and, and marks, but there was absolutely nothing on that. That was a really crispy piece. Uh, found the Canterbury Bulldogs as well in the NRL, guys. $4 for a polo shirt of anything rugby league will turn into about a $15 profit. So I will pick it up every single day of the week. I found another rugby league polo shirt as well. The Brisbane Broncos, hometown team, size small, should go on to sell well. Guys, this was in pretty much in like new condition and it was the Nike polo shirt as well. So we had to grab that and uh, I ended up moving on to another op shop run. Dove into the shoes in this next op shop and I only saw the one pair. It was the Adidas Predators. Now, these Predators are worth $60, but there was a $20 price tag on it. If they were 15, if they were 10, I would have bought it, but at 20 bucks, I just can't do that, guys. So I have left these ones behind as much as I love my footy boots. Um, did find a couple of other pieces of clothing though in this next store. The Holden Racing Team button-up shirt, a bit like that Formula One top that I saw a little bit earlier on in this episode. $7 on this one. They do go on to sell in my past experience. So when I saw this, I knew that I had to be taking it with me. A lot of better bread and butter items getting picked up here, but uh, they are still going to get the job done. The other one that I found as well was this Cougar long sleeve jumper. Now this was just a plain hood and jumper. Queensland Reds in the rugby union. Not a bad side. $7 here. There is a supporter out there for the Queensland Reds, no doubt about it. So that will go on to sell at some stage. I'll be pushing about 30 bucks on eBay. Guys, this is why I love the sporting gear. There's always a fan out there and you're always a chance of getting that sale. So uh, a few items of clothing in that third run. Okay, guys, so as you would have seen there, another seven items of more or less bread and butter clothing, but uh, I had a look at the numbers to see where we're at for so far today, and I've been able to source 18 items. I've spent $97. So that works out to $5.40 per item. So while it has been bread and butter, the purchase price has been at a really nice low point. I think anything, anywhere around $5 is going to be a pretty good buy. So uh, we've got some great items here, no doubt about it. We're sourcing plenty. But they are those bread and butters, and I do want to find those really good items, those really high profit, big ticket, as I mentioned earlier. So we're going to get into the last op shop run of the day. If that doesn't work out, I do have another op shop just close by. So we're going to go into two op shops, and fingers crossed we can find at least one. I want $100 profit item to end the day. So let's get in there, and we'll see what we can get. This felt like a make or break moment. Op shop run number four. I've been able to come across one single pair of very good shoes, and these were the New Balance Triple Nines. These go on to sell for $60, and I bought them for 10 bucks. So with the condition that they were in, they should get the top dollar for me on eBay. So not too bad of a start there, but I did have a further look around all of the shoes, and unfortunately, they were the only pair that I was going to be able to purchase. A very, very quiet run in what has otherwise been a really good store for me in the past. Um, did find these uh, Nike t-shirts as well for $25 though, couldn't be going anywhere near that. And uh, and also found this famous uh, five as well, book series, 21 Exciting Adventures, a $45 price tag. So guys, to be honest, there was a lot of really high price points and I was getting a little bit nervous for the last run of the day. But then I stumbled across all of this. Have a look at all of this Nintendo Wii gear. We've got the DJ Hero 2 DJ set. This one had a $20 price point on it. We've got the Skylanders up the back, that had a $20 
$25 price tag. The Racing Wheel Pro Gamer game, uh, sorry, Steering Wheel, that had a $6 price tag. Four Nintendo Wii balance boards with $10 price tags. And then we had two uh, consoles as well. Those consoles had $60 on it. So in the end, I did all of my comp searching and I realized that these were probably the best way to go about it, the balance boards. I'm a little bit nervous because they are untested. I went with the games to do it as a bit of a bundle and then I pulled up the e-profit calculator and worked out that at the purchase price, I'd be making about a $25 profit per item. Let me know your thoughts. Also found upstairs, downstairs in the DVDs. Uh, this was a complete series. I know I have a lot of DVDs at the moment, but I couldn't pass this up. I've sold it before for 60 bucks. I'm buying it for $15. So I know that there's some great quick money to be made with this series. That was an awesome get. And then I also found in the plush section, I found this uh, teddy bear as well, which is actually a pretty sought after brand. It's Bubba. Bubba Bears. It's the first time I've personally heard of it. This was only $3. It was in working condition. So the comps on eBay were telling me about $50 for this plush toy, which is really just ridiculous. But uh, it ended up rounding out a pretty good last run of the day. Oh, I still don't know if that was the right move, guys. Let me know in the comments below. Would you have bought these Wii balance boards for $10 each? I don't know if they work. I'm going to have to test them out, put some batteries in there and see how they go. But uh, let me know in the comments, would you have done it? Uh, because I'm going to try and make it work, turn it into 60 bucks each, make a $25 profit, and it won't be too bad overall. Uh, a few DVDs, the toys and the shoes as well. So there was a lot bored, $190 spent today, 90 of it coming in that last thrift run. So good way to end the day, hopefully a bit of money to be made there. Uh, to the 30% club is still here watching now, guys. Thank you very much for the support. Another trip to the thrift done, and uh, yeah, look forward to catching you in the next vid. Keep charging.